What's up guys, Ernest Langdon from Langdon Tactical here, and today we're gonna to talk about cleaning and lubrication of your handgun. One of the common questions I get is, what do I recommend for cleaning and lubricating your handgun? And the first thing to understand is, if you are a former military guy, you probably clean your handgun too much. You probably over clean it. For the most part, if you keep it generally clean and lubricated, you're gonna be fine. It doesn't need to be spotless and you can actually wear a gun out scrubbing on it, trying to make it perfectly clean. So keep that in mind, don't over clean. For the most part, we're gonna run into a general maintenance type schedule where if you go to the range and it's your carry gun, you should probably clean the gun before you put it back into service, so to speak. Make sure that there's not some random piece of grit or dirt that came off of some unburned powder that could possibly cause you a malfunction regardless of the type of weapon that you shoot. But if it's a range gun or a competition gun, you don't need to clean it every time you go to the range. You can just add some lubrication to it and continue to shoot it, it'll probably be fine. The exception to that is if your weapon was in an adverse environment, i.e. it got extremely wet, it's gonna need to be clean, or if you're somewhere where dust was blowing and you've got dirt that's now got inside the gun. Just simply adding oil at that point is basically going to create lapping compound and accelerate the wear on your firearm regardless of the brand. So if you're in that adverse environment, you need to probably do a pretty good cleaning to make sure that you get that grit and or uh, rain and stuff out of the gun so that it doesn't prematurely wear or rust. So when you're selecting the cloth or rag that you're gonna to use to clean inside your gun, you wanna use something that doesn't leave a lot of lint behind. An old t-shirt a, does a pretty good job, or shop towels, something like this, that don't tend to fray and leave things behind. Don't use tissues and things of this nature that might leave things behind. And when you're using Q-tips, they're tremendous for getting down in those nooks and crannies, but be careful and use high quality Q-tips. Sometimes the cheap ones that you would buy to clean your ear art might not be the best for cleaning inside your gun. I have seen guns having malfunctions and once we get inside the gun, we find a chunk of cotton ball that's come off of somebody's Q-tip that's wreaking havoc inside the small parts of the gun. When it comes to cleaning the gun, probably all you really need is a toothbrush, a boar snake and or some sort of durable rag. You can take that, get down into the nook and crannies and clean the gun out, wipe most of the dirt away and then re-lubricate, you're gonna be fine. If you wanna do a serious cleaning, I would recommend using something like mineral spirits. Mineral spirits, low odor mineral spirits is a really good degreaser, if you will, meaning that it will clean most of that gunk and grime off of the firearm without completely drying it out. A lot of the harsh chemicals that people use to clean guns will strip all the oil away, especially inside of the gun, and not really leave it in the best condition for continued service. Mineral spirits leaves a little crystalline finish behind and doesn't really strip all of the oil out of the gun, but it does a good job of cleaning and getting some of that gunk and grime away. I'm a big fan of boar snakes. You can pull a boar snake through the gun without even taking apart the gun. You can just pull it through the bore, make sure that you get most of that gunk and grime out of there, kind of clean the chamber out. It's a really good way to keep the bore of the gun clean. If you need to do a serious bore cleaning, it's probably because you're having accuracy problems or you're having severe buildup of some sort of copper or lead fouling in the bore. In that case, a real bore brush uh, and some sort of bore solvent is a really good idea. One of the things I want to talk about with bore solvent is some people really like our hoppies and us sweets and other types of bore solvents because it does a really good job of breaking down uh, carbon and copper fouling and all of that stuff. And they'll tend to want to use it over the entire firearm. Guys, that's a really bad idea. When you start scrubbing the slide of the gun with a bore solvent, 
you're gonna end up breaking down that carbon and or copper fouling that's inside the firing pin channel. And then if you don't properly flush it out of there, it's gonna turn on you and could create a very gummy situation that creates malfunctions that are completely unnecessary. Bore solvent is for the bore, not for the entire gun. Again, going back to our mineral spirits, if you're gonna use mineral spirits to clean the gun, I also recommend that you come behind it with some sort of compressed air and try to blow that excess mineral spirits out and it's gonna help remove a lot of that carbon or dirt buildup that's inside of the smaller areas of the slide and frame. By using compressed air, you're gonna blow a lot of that out, get the gun really clean, and make sure that you don't have mineral spirits now leaking out on your clothes or flying into your face when it comes time to start shooting again. Finally, let's talk about lubrication. Regardless of the type of the firearm you're looking at, when we go and re-lubricate the gun, we want to re-lubricate where metal on metal or part on part wear starts happening. Metal on metal is easily identified by looking at the shiny spots on the gun. You'll be able to tell where things are wearing and that's where you need lubrication. When we start talking about lubrication, there's a lot of quality lubes on the market right now but some of them do not mix well together. There are some natural type vegetable oil based type lubricants that are on the market that are really good lubrication, but they don't blend with your synthetic based oils. They can cause that vegetable oil or that natural based oil to turn very quickly, get very gummy and cause problems. So don't use this type of natural oil here and petroleum based oil there. That can create a lot of problems for you. Most of them will tell you, you need to completely strip your firearm and get all the oil on it before you add their natural oil to it. I recommend using petroleum based oils because I have found that they last longer over time. I have found some of the natural oils, if I leave the gun untouched, for months on end, sometimes years on end, I'll come back, that oil has started to turn on me and it's not really providing the lubrication that I would like it to. I've had a lot of good luck with the Lucas uh, Extreme Gun Oil. I'm not associated with them, but it's done a really good job for me on several years of testing guns and shooting different guns. When it comes to the internal firing components of the gun, hammer, sear, hammer strut, all of those types of stuff, I'm a big fan of TW25B. I've been using this stuff for almost 20 years now and I have found nothing that works as well on the fire control components as this inside of the gun. So guys, go out there, make sure you keep your guns clean. Don't over clean them, but don't leave them really dirty either. It's a kind of a balancing act there. If it's a gun that you're carrying, it should probably be pretty clean when you put that thing into service. If it's a range gun, just keep generally clean and make sure you clean that dirt off and don't put lapping compound on your frame rails. Guys, go out there, train hard, stay safe, and we'll see you next time. To keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to langdontactical.com and to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.